Hey, so today I want to show you how to create a local environment for your WordPress site. So I want to actually create a site called CCIOG, right? So I have my HT Docs. First of all, I have MAMP installed and running. I'm on Mac, so on a, a PC it would be WAMP. And then specifically in preferences, I believe that it gives you uh, a document root. Now I might have a old version, but however you're going to get to where to show uh, where the document root is, mine is at uh, Applications MAMP HD Docs, right? You can select that. Um, and so I have it actually as a shortcut here, right? So I have this directory I want to put my site on. And so right now, if we went there, it would just show me the directory, right? So we know that it works. So we need to do a few things. First of all, I want to, <clears throat> first of all, I have locally, I have a nice, fresh version of WordPress. I'm just going to copy that and paste it over here. So it's the most recent version, right? So it has all my uh, themes, default plugins, everything in it already. But still, if I refresh, we need a WP config file. So instead of creating one here, I'm actually going to create one manually and show you how that's done. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to copy it, I'm going to paste it. I'm going to change this over to wp-config.php. I'm going to open that up. And database name. So in MAMP, we can create a new database called CCIOG. I'm going to create that. And now the name of that is, I believe it's just CCIOG. Let me just double check. Yeah, it's just CCIOG. So we'll do CCIOG. And then with MAMP, the username and uh, database password is just root. All right, so I'm going to save that. And so now I have my WP pro config properly set up. I'm going to refresh here. And it's going to actually prompt me now to create all the database fields and just give a little bit of information first. So I'm just going to CCIOG, my username, my password. Uh, right, my email. I don't want anything indexed right now. Basically, this is not going to play any effect right now. But when you do post this live, by default, this is going to show up. So when I do post it live, I don't want it to be indexed right away. That's just personal preference. So I'm going to install WordPress. And now I can log in. All right, so now if we go back here, we have our site installed locally on our computer. Now, if I wanted to, you know, from there you can just easily put a new theme, new plugins, so on and so forth. So in the next episode, we'll go in further uh, and show you how to customize your own theme.